Hello. I'm Lord Jim School and you're watching You Have Issues, a programme all about comics. So there's been a recent announcement on Injustice 2 and as you probably know I did a video on it recently. So far I've been really impressed with the new characters that have been announced but I want to tell you the characters that I really want to see in Injustice 2. Due to the grim dark tone the previous game had, the odds of seeing everybody's favourite time travelling walking advertisement appearing in the new game are slim at best. Personally, I think that his lightheartedness would provide a nice bit of comic relief in this sea of misery. His second series back in 2006 was utterly astounding and it shows that there's more to this epic character than his product placements. His super, critical art, whatever the fuck you want to call it should be, that he'd grab his opponent, take them through various time periods, all the while hitting them with advertising billboards and other advert related paraphernalia. This is far less likely since he's been used less and less in the DC Universe since the early 2000s. But I'm going to tell you why I want him to be in the game. Steel's origin is closely intertwined with Superman so it would be a great plot point for someone like John Henry Irons to be hopeful that the Superman he owes his life to is still in there somewhere and will fight to prove the Insurgent Justice League wrong. Though to be fair if he wasn't paying attention during the events of the previous game then he'd be a bit of an idiot not to think he's gone too far this time. Combat wise he should play similarly to Cyborg or Lex Luthor but also wielding his great big fuck off hammer. Oh behave. Some of you are probably thinking, Oh, but we had Nightwing in the previous game, do we really need Robin? And the answer is of course, yes, yes we do. In the previous game it was revealed that Damian Wayne had taken the role of Nightwing after the death of Dick Grayson just to be a spiteful little shit. Nothing new there. I mention this because Damian is the current Robin so I don't know who would assume the mantle but a Robin would be badass. These two share an entry because I want them in the game for the same reason. They're both formidable martial artists, maybe even the best in the DC Universe, and this obviously being a fighting game, they deserve to be here. Shiva isn't used much in media outside of the comics, but Black Canary has been in various DC animations, so why she wasn't included in the previous game, I have no idea. Barbara Gordon was the Batgirl in the previous game and was a welcome addition to the roster, although I think that Cassandra Cain should take up the mantle this time round. The daughter of David Cain and the previously mentioned Lady Shiva two of the deadliest assassins in the DC Universe, she more than knows how to kick some ass. Plus her original costume would look utterly awesome. She is arguably the most popular Batgirl and would actually do justice to this game. Personally I would prefer to see Ted Cord, but if the Blue Beetle does make it into this game it will more than likely be Jaime Reyes for the simple reason that his suit is made of alien technology and thus will fit in nicely with the robotic armour vibe going on in this universe. His suit can improvise weapons and flight capabilities so this would make for an interesting moveset. Valor Moore would be a superb addition to this game because there was a complete lack of Legion characters in the previous one. I can understand that because the previous game was set in the 21st century DC universe and Netherrealm Studios had to go with popular characters rather than any obscure ones. Karate Kid no, not that one, has mastered every single martial art in existence up until the 31st century, which is where he's from. Not just the martial arts on Earth, no, these are known throughout the entire DC Universe. Good old Jefferson Pierce should be on the roster because he is vastly underused in comics these days. That aside, his costume is badass and his lightning based powers would make a really interesting moveset. And in this regard he could take some of the spotlight off Captain Marvel. I'm not f***ing calling him Shazam, I don't give a shit what you say. This final one isn't a character, more of a feature request. Classic costume pack. That's all, I just want the characters to beat the crap out of each other while shamelessly wearing spandex, just like the comics. Thank you all for watching this episode of You Have Issues, I'm Lord Jimsical. In the comments let me know who you would like to see in Injustice 2 and why. See you next time.